Kilmainham Jail. It was here during the early hours of the morning, 100 years ago today, that the first three leaders of the 1916 Rising were executed by firing squad in the Stonebreaker's yard. Today's ceremony heard from memoirs of the Capuchin friars who met with the men in the hours before their deaths. They recorded that they were not afraid to die. How did they behave? Like men well satisfied to have attempted a noble task, sustained by the relief and conviction that they were justified in what they had done. Patrick Pierce was the first to face his execution. It's recorded that in his final moments, he agonised over the loss of life in the rebellion and hoped it would not be in vain. His great-grandnephew laid a wreath in his honour. Really and truly, it's, it's nearly impossible to describe the feeling that we, we feel of being related to the, the great man. And we're, we're, great, we're grateful for all he's done for this country. No relatives of Thomas Clark were available, represented today by a manager of the Kilmainham Jail Museum, Clark's was the first signature on the proclamation. He was uh, imprisoned for over 15 years uh, for his uh, Fenian activities, mainly in England. And also, uh, also then he was a member of the IRB. And um, so he was certainly seen as one of the, if you like, the figurehead of the Republican movement at that time. Then there was Thomas McDonough who'd only joined the leadership in the weeks before the Rising. He's recorded to have died as he lived, with no rancour in his heart, with his courage high and unshaken. John Carain, RT News, Dublin.